Okay, class, last week we learned about contractions. This week we're going to learn about homophones, which are words that sound alike, but they have different meanings. So, the um, first I'm going to go over just kind of what homophones we're talking about today. The first three are there, there, and there. <coughs> the second ones are two, two, and two. And the third are your and your. So first I'm going to go on about and tell you the difference between the theirs. The first there is T-H-E-R-E. And it describes a place. Anywhere. Um, the second one there, T-H-E-I-R, refers to possession or belonging. And then the last one there, T-H-E-Y, apostrophe R-E, is a contraction for they are. So now I'm going to go over some sentences and tell you why it's this one instead of this one. Okay, the first one is, I last remember seeing it over there. See, that's describing a place. There being, that's the last place I saw it. Okay, and then for their, T-H-E-I-R, again, meaning possession or belonging, sense is we have to remember to feed their dog. <clears throat> the reason it's T-H-E-I-R is because their dog refers to whoever's dog it is, their dog. And then the last one, which is there, T-H-E-Y, apostrophe R-E, is it's hard to believe they're grown up and in college. They're being, you could switch it out for, it's hard to believe they are grown up and in college. So if you can swap those out with each other, and it sound good, then that's all you need. And then, <clears throat> sorry about that. Um, okay, now we're just going to go over some more examples with each one. Okay, so the first one is, blank have been a lot of changes in the past 20 years. Blank, there. There have been a lot of changes in the past 20 years. And then the second one is, we found blank services to be first rate. Blank meaning there, T-H-E-I-R. We found their services to be first rate. They're talking about. their services. So it's whoever services. And then um, last one is they're very competitive and are expected to win the series. Okay, so their T-H-E-Y apostrophe R-E is a little easier to remember than there and there. The first two, T-H-E-R-E and T-H-E-I-R. So there, it's just easier to remember because it's a contraction. If you can replace it with they are, then it's easy to know. All right. So, overview. There, T-H-E-R-E, -E, describes a place. There, T-H-E-I-R, describes possession or belonging. There, T-H-E-Y, apostrophe R-E, is a contraction for they are. <clears throat> so now that we've been over that, um, we're going to move on to the second, which is two, two, and two. Okay, the first one is two, T-O, which is used as a preposition before a noun. 
or in an or an infinitive before a verb. Which meaning to it's like okay, here's an example. Please take me to the dance or it's just yeah. And then the second one, to T O O is a synonym for also or indicates an excessive amount. So either you're too kind, T O O being you're too kind and excessive. Excessive in kindness. And then um or I'm taking that class too. The trick is with this one to know between two T O and two T O O is T O O can be interchanged for also. So if you can replace two with also, you have it right. So it's I'm taking that class too, like I said before. You can also say, see, you can say I'm taking that class also. So it's if you can remember that, you should be able to get it right. All right, the last one, easiest one is two, T W O, meaning it's just the number 2 spelled out. <coughs> okay. And now we're just going to go over some examples. <coughs> The first one is T-O, sentences, we don't need to buy that right now. We don't need to buy that right now. The second one is, I had too many tacos for lunch, meaning too many tacos. And then in, that's talking about an excessive amount. Um, another one is, I'm going to the mall too. So... And that one's just, it can be interchanged with also. Um, and then again with the easiest one, 2TWO, you can go, I have two hands and two feet, just talking about the number two. So it's, that one's not too hard. Um, so now that we're, we have went over that, time to go over the your and your, which is, you would think it's easy, but it's really not. A lot of people get, get confused, even though it's probably one of the easiest. <coughs> Alright, so your, Y-O-U-R, shows possession. Meaning, it like kind of, kind of like the there, T-H-E-I-R, it's, it shows possession, so it's, it's, could I borrow your notes, or is that your cat? It shows possession. And then, your, Y-O-U, apostrophe, R-E, is a contraction for you are. So, some examples of that is, you're not going to buy that, are you? Like, you are not going to buy that, are you? And then another one is, you're sad. Why? You're being Y-O-U-R apostrophe. I'm oh, sorry. Y-O-U apostrophe R-E. Um, so you could say, you are sad. Why? So, <clears throat> quick overview. We're going to go over each one real quick, just real quick. Okay, so we have the first three. There, there, and there. There, T-H-E-R-E, -E, meaning a place. So it just describes a place. Um, there, T-H-E-I-R, refers to possession or belong. It just shows possession and belonging. And then there, T-H-E-Y, apostrophe R-E, is a contraction for they are. Um, and then the second the second set um, was two, two, and two. So the first two is 
It's used as a preposition before a noun or as an infinitive before a verb. And then to, T-O-O, is a synonym for also or it indicates an excessiveness or like an excessive amount of something. And then two, like I said earlier, it's probably the easiest to remember because it's just spelling out the number two. So if you can put the number two in place of it, then you're doing it right. And then remember the rule for two, T-O-O, -O, it's um, if you can replace it with also, you're right. So that's easy. Okay, and then our last two words are your and your. Your, Y-O-U-R, shows possession. And your, Y-O-U, apostrophe, R-E, is a contraction for you are. So now that we've talked about what all these sound alike words actually mean, I hope you can use them right in, in like, your writing. Um, so that's it. Thanks. Bye.